Hey everyone, my name's Anna and you're watching The Brass Rabbit. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the very first resin face-up I've ever done. This ball jointed doll is Pansy from the company Be Yours, which I unboxed in my last video. Let's get right to it! I'm starting out by using gouache paint for her eyeliner. The reason I like to use gouache paint is because if I make a mistake, it's really easy to just wipe it away with water. It's harder to do that with acrylic paint. Next, I'll refine her eyeliner with a brown watercolor pencil. Using a watercolor pencil for this part will allow you to have a bit more control instead of using a paintbrush. For the first layer of blushing, I'm using a flesh-toned pastel. I'll go in with pink later, but for now, I kind of just want to give her face a little more life than it has now. She kind of looks like a ghost. I'm doing this on her cheeks, on her forehead, a little bit on her nose, on her chin, and in the corners of her eyes. Oh, and some on her ears too. Next, I'll give her lips a touch of color using pink pastel. We'll do the same on her eyelids and also add some brown eyeshadow. Just a little bit though. I want her to have a natural face up so it doesn't need to be too strong. Next, we'll start defining her waterline and tear duct using some pink pastel and also a pink watercolor pencil. It's best to keep a delicate hand here. If you use too much, it might look a little bit too unnatural. We'll add some more color to her cheeks using that same pink. Since I'm going for a more natural look, I'm going to keep the blush light and blend it around her cheeks, nose, and forehead. I'll start building up more color around the lips as well. Eyebrows are still by far the thing I struggle with the most, but I think I'm getting better. With hers, I start out by blocking in some light brown pastel, and then I use an eraser to shape them how I want. After that, I use a watercolor pencil to shape the outer point. I'm using a light brownish yellow because I eventually want her to be blonde. It took a lot of erasing and putting more pastel and erasing more, but after a while I finally got them how I liked. I'm using a really, really sharp brown pencil to go into her eye crease. And after that, I basically just go over everything multiple times through multiple layers to build up the color I want. I did eventually go and add some more tiny little hairs to her eyebrows to make them look a little more realistic. I did this with a super super sharp pencil and with a really light hand. For eyebrow hairs and eyelashes, it's best to take them slow. Her lips need some more depth and I do that by adding some light brown gouache paint to the corners of her mouth. And honestly, I messed up a lot with this, but I cut out a lot of it so you guys didn't have to watch that part. <laughs> Just be really careful and go very slowly and use a light hand for this part. Sometimes it's tempting to skip this part, but I think the result is worth it in the end. I just really think it adds a really nice lifelike quality to her whole face.
Can you guys guess what I'm doing next? <laughs> That's right, I'm adding freckles again because you guys know I just love freckles so much. However, I think we can all agree that this is just a little too intense, so we'll dab some of that off in just a second. This is a perfect example of why I prefer to use gouache paint. And I also decided to add a little bit of a lighter color to it as well. I'll add just a little bit of brown pastel into the crease of her mouth to give it some more depth. And even though I said I wanted her to look natural, I thought that her eyelids still looked a little bare, so I added some more color. And next comes the most nerve-wracking part, at least for me. The eyelashes. Ah! It took me a few tries, but eventually I got the hang of it. For those of you who still struggle with eyelashes like I did, I recommend practicing drawing them on a piece of paper a lot first. That's what I did, and it honestly helped me quite a lot. As you can see here, I have a giant bandage on my finger, and that's because in the middle of doing this face up, I injured my finger very badly. But it's all good now, so no need to worry. Now I'm just going to various parts around the face and adding in some white highlights. Inside of her slightly open mouth, she has some molded teeth, so I'm going in with white gouache to fill those in. I went very slow and very carefully here so I didn't get any white on the lips. These are fake eyelashes that I just bought from Target, honestly, and trimmed down to fit her eyes. Before gluing them on though, I add the final touch by putting on some Liquitex high gloss varnish to her lips and lower waterline. If you thought that lower eyelashes were difficult, oh boy, you just wait. I'm pretty sure that gluing fake eyelashes onto dolls is now the bane of my existence. I think the problem was is that I was trying to use fabric glue instead of regular white glue. Because on the doll I did after this, I just used regular Mod Podge and it worked way better. It doesn't look like it in the video, but it took me a good half hour to put those on. These are the eyes she came with, but I want to give her some new ones. So I took a trip to Denver Doll Emporium and bought a few sets of eyes I thought might look good. I pull out the eye putty using some tweezers. Ugh. Honestly, this looks pretty gruesome. Yank all that gunk out of there. And here are my options. While the other two did look nice, these were by far my favorite. To put these eyes in, first roll your eye putty into a little uh, clay snake thingy. <laughs> Then wrap it all the way around one eye. Then insert it and shove some kind of long pointy object in there to kind of set it in. And this girl's face up is done. I think she looks so pretty. I had such a fun time doing a face up on resin. It was very different from doing a face-up on a vinyl doll like Monster High or Ever After High, and it was difficult at first, but eventually I got the hang of it. The materials behaved quite differently on resin versus vinyl. I'd say vinyl is a lot more forgiving. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I love for you to give it a like, comment, and share, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks for watching! Bye!